It's to Hatchpod time again. Key budge Claire Scotty today because today is time to get updated on entertainment in our wine and brew industry here in Tehachapi. How are you, Claire? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me back, Key. Yeah. And there are quite a few things happening at our vineyards and breweries this weekend. You know, I was having a conversation with Greg Garrett earlier this week, and he and I were talking, and we're just blown away at the amount of entertainment, the quality of entertainment that is coming to our breweries and the wineries. And it's not just... You know, hey, I, one of my buddies, my neighbors can play the guitar. I mean, we're getting incredible talent. And I don't know if they're all local or not, but the talent quality is huge. Yes. And every weekend I'm seeing more musicians coming from out of the area and bringing these beautiful concerts and really fun, fun musical entertainment every weekend. All right. So where do we want to start this week? Let's start with our vineyards. Okay. And uh, let's head over to Tehachapi Wine and Cattle Company to start things off. Friday night, they have a happy hour from 3 to 6. So you'll be able to get 50% off of glasses of wine and 25% off glasses of sangria. So head on over there, start your weekend, and uh, get some wine or sangria along with their world-famous charcuterie. All right. <laughs> Saturday, they have Jim Sinney and Boyd Nyberg are playing together, which is going to be a real treat. And they're playing from 2 to 5. And on Sunday, Mike Heckathorn is playing from 2 to 5. And Tatchby Wine and Cattle Company is serving tri-tip sandwiches with all the fix-ins. And of course, you'll find their charcuterie, wine slushies, and sangria all weekend. And those wonderful cookies. I can't believe I almost forgot that. (laughs) Signature cookies. Yes. (laughs) Those are always such a treat. (laughs) Heading over to Triassic. On Friday, they have Guitar Ted playing from 3.30 to 6.30. And they want me to remind everyone that they're open noon to 7 on Friday. So you don't have to just get there right at 3.30. They'll have Mosner sandwiches available Friday night. And then on Saturday, they have a really special summer concert happening from 4 to 8 p.m. That's $20 a person. You can pay at the door. You don't have to get reservations ahead of time. And the band that will be playing is Will Gale Dance. And uh, I've heard it's a wonderful 80s band, so I'm going to try to hit that up this weekend. Very good. (laughs) Haywood's Hot Dogs will be serving up awesome hot dogs all Saturday as well. Sunday, Joey Fulco will be there again from 3.30 to 6.30. And the Pokey Express will be serving up delicious pokey. And, of course, you can find charcuterie and those delicious chocolate truffles paired with different kinds of wine at Triassic. I love that combination that Jim and Sally do with the the chocolate truffles. And and I love having cheeses with my wines. But it's something different having that truffle to go along with your wines. Exactly. And especially when you have a dark chocolate, because both of those with the wine and the dark chocolate, there's so many flavors that just meld together and there's so many layers of flavor and i think that's really nice and special triassic's one of the only places that does that where you have different kinds of chocolate and you can really see what it brings out in the wine heading over to dorner family vineyard friday night they're open from two to seven and tom holden will be there from 2 30 to 5 30 okay. <laughs> saturday carrie park will be there from one to five and claudia's catering will be serving up some delicious grub And on Sunday, Tom Holden will be there from 1 to 5, and they'll be making their signature pizzas that are about an individual size pizza, but they have seven different varieties, so anyone will probably walk away happy. (laughs) And then, of course, you'll find their charcuterie, wine slushies, and gelato all throughout the weekend. Nice. We've got some nice choices. Yes, we do. And Tehachapi Winery is getting things busy this weekend. Saturday, they have Guitar Ted and TK's Pizza will be there. And then on Sunday, you'll find TK's Pizza again. The Lindsay Gang will be there from 2 to 5. And then there's going to be two candle making workshops. One is at noon, and apparently that one is sold out. So if you've already gotten your seat at the candle making workshop, fantastic. Uh, That's going to be really fun. And then there's another one from 5 to 7 in the evening. And you'll want to get tickets, $25 without wine, but why would you want to do that? So $32 (laughs) to make two candles and have a wonderful glass of wine. And there'll be 12 different scents to choose from, so you'll be able to get your collection of holiday candles if you want, get all that going. And you can get your tickets at www.wildbloomsandbliss, all spelled out, dot com. Or you can text Brandy Davenport at 661 
805-8881. We're only four months away from Christmas, so there that is good timing. That is, it's not that far away. Right? It's, it's going to be here before we know it. Exactly right. <laughs> and then one more thing happening at Tatchby Winery on Sunday, yoga and wine, because it is the last Sunday of the month, and the best way to celebrate is yoga and wine. <laughs> that's $20 at 1 p.m., and that's Space Flow Yoga hosting that. Very good. Heading over to our breweries, we have Local Craft Beer, LCB, and they have their musical open mic night tonight, and Me Gusta Tamale will be there after Farmer's Market. Ooh. So get those tamales. Nice combination, <laughs> tamales and some beer. I think so, absolutely. Saturday, Fistful of Nickels is coming, and that will be at 7.30. And then we have a new vendor coming called Los Patroncitos. Okay. <laughs> um, I was looking them up, and they look like they make really, really good food. Uh, so all different kinds of tacos, and uh, they looked a little bit like Kiki's tacos, but with their own twist. So I think that's going to be really tasty. Again, with the beer pairing, that's that's a great pairing together. Yes. Kind of like the chocolate <laughs> with the wines. We've got a little Mexican food with the beer. The beer, yes. Mm. Again, that one's on Saturday. And then remember, next week, Wednesday night at 6.30, Geeks Who Drink will be there with their trivia night. And Pokey Express is usually there, but go ahead and check out our social media on Instagram and Facebook, and we'll say who's catering that night. And that's at Discover to Hatchby. Correct, yes. Heading over to Old West Brewing, Thursday night tonight, they have their paint night with all that's painted. Friday night, they have their open mic night. Saturday at 7 p.m., Elvis will be returning. (laughs) (laughs) Elvis is very, very talented and takes you right back to the good old days. <laughs> so that'll be a really fun evening. And then on Sunday, we have karaoke at 5.30. Mosner sandwiches will be served all throughout the weekend. And uh, Old West wanted me to let you guys know that Four Seasons actually delivers out there. So they have a menu you can order and then they will deliver right there. So you don't have to get up and go somewhere else to get some food. I love that. That ties in another local business right here. They have outstanding food and I love my wife and I will enjoy lunch on their outdoor patio, you know, right across from Conan's. But I love the fact that they are, you know, a part of this fabric too. Yes, that's that was very exciting when I heard that. <laughs> and then West Lane has Kiki's Tacos tonight on Thursday. Friday, they have Tacos Chewy and Michael Peters is coming up starting at 630. And then Saturday, they have Pokey Express to pair with the beer. <laughs> All right. So a lot happening this weekend, but of course... Today is the last day of Farmer's Market, so last day to start the weekend off right and get all of that wonderful local produce and the goods that have been coming out this season and last chance to really enjoy it all till next year. And with that, the experience that you've had over Farmer's Market, you've had uh, different breweries, you've had different wineries out there with you. What's that collaboration been like? Is our brew industry and our wine industry embracing each other and understanding that they're reaching the same people and that people are enjoying, you know, both of these different uh, things that Tehachapi has to offer? Absolutely, Key. That has been really exciting because two groups of businesses in Tehachapi that don't always interact, but sometimes they do, they've had a chance to really talk and and get some ideas flowing. And we get people coming up who one one individual wants a beer and the other individual wants wine. And then pretty soon they're switching <laughs> and the other individual has a taste of beer and it's like, oh man, that's really great. I feel like the community is really embracing this as well. And new friendships have definitely been forged this season. Excellent. Since this will be the last time that you, when people hear this, the farmer's market will probably have ended and they won't get that opportunity to come up and talk to you about what Discover to Hatchby does. Let's tell the folks how they can find you, what Discover to Hatchby does, because you do all this work and research. You put it, post it on your social medias, all the entertainment, the, the, uh, the food that goes on at all of these different venues in one spot but you guys do more than that. Oh, yes. <laughs> so Farmer's Market has been a really great chance for us to share everything that we do and really put a spotlight on all of our partners that we work with. And so on the weekends, we provide beer tours, winery tours, and wonderful exclusive experiences where we kind of tie a lot of stuff together. And so with our wine tours, 
We offer basically a full day. So it start the first winery we get to around noon and we go to three different wineries. Full tastings at each winery is included. And then we have a full lunch that can be customized to any dietary preferences. And of course, there's snacks and water that's you know available all throughout the day included in the tour price. And tip is also imp- included. So these are all inclusive tours. And you get home around 4.30, 5 o'clock in the evening. So you get to spend about an hour or so at each of the different wineries or whichever the the locations that you take them to. It's enough time where you can enjoy a nice glass of wine or a tasting and then move on to the next and, you know, make your purchases and then you've had a nice day of it. Absolutely. And when we when we design these tours, we really wanted to make sure that people didn't feel rushed. But we also don't want anybody twiddling their thumbs after their tasting. Right. And so we found that about 45 minutes to an hour is a really good amount of time to really enjoy those tastings, ask some questions, maybe purchase a couple bottles, enjoy something to eat, and then try the next winery. And so we also do the same thing with our brewery tours. Friday nights, we go later in the evening um, after work, and we'll take you to three different breweries, uh, full tastings at each brewery, dinner, snacks, water, uh, transportation, all of that is included as well. And uh, same thing where we give you plenty of time to finish that favorite pint or that tasting. And then our exclusive experiences happen every so often. (laughs) We have one coming up this Friday and that will be at Dorner and that will be a, a good one. We filled the bus on that one. And we have another one coming up on September 23rd and that's our night at the museum. And we still have seats available for that event that will be heading over to Los Viajeros first. Uh, enjoy a full Malbec tasting, really learn how Ilda Los Viajeros makes her wine and her journey with making Malbec over the years. And then we go over to the Urea House, which is one of our oldest houses <laughs> in Tehachapi, and we learn all about the history of that home. And then we get to have a wonderful Basque-inspired dinner, gourmet dinner, out on the back patio. And I know John Hammond and so many people have been working on that garden for many years now, and it's beautiful. It really shows all that hard work is just really beautiful back there. And we'll have Ivy Moss playing music, and it'll just be a, a very, very nice evening. And with that, this winery is not on the regular tour. So this is a very special, exclusive look at what they do with all the different Malbecs that they offer. Correct. Correct. So Los Viejeros is not on our normal tour. And so this is a a really great opportunity to really meet Ilda, learn about the wine and enjoy that side of Tehachapi. Right. Now let's (laughs) share where people can find you because you're not going to be at the farmer's market. So where should we send them? Right. So you can find us on social media, Facebook or Instagram at Discover to Hatchby. You can learn all about all of our tours on our website, www.discovertohatchby.com. Or you can always call us at 661-235-5334. Excellent. And we also want to remind everyone that Old Vineyard Charm also offers uh, wine tours and shuttle service here in the Tehachapi area. And you can get a hold of Bill and Kim Case, the owners of Old Vineyard Charm, at 661-221-3660. You'll also find them on Facebook as well. Claire, I just appreciate it. Every single time you come in and we talk about these different locations, I, I just peek on the music and just think how special it is in Tehachapi. I don't know if other regions are doing that. I know in the past when I've gone wine tasting in Paso and other areas, it's not the same experience. You can go and get a wine tasting, but you're not getting the food and the music. It's This is what we've created here out of, I guess, fortifying ourselves during COVID. They've created a new kind of tasting niche for people to enjoy. I agree with that. And my husband and I, we did a lot of research, (laughs) um, wine tasting at different places and kind of seeing what different wineries do and how we could accommodate that with our tours. And we absolutely adore how every winery has entertainment and food and you could stay there for hours and be totally content. That's something that is very unique and special to Tehachapi. Excellent. So if you'd like to find out more, you can get a hold of Claire at discovertehachapi.com. Follow them on social media, Instagram and Facebook at Discover Tehachapi. Claire, thank you. Appreciate the time. Thank you, Key. All right, folks, if you've got a question, if you've got an event that you'd like us to talk about, send it to media at tehachapicityhall.com and we'll catch you again soon right here on Tehachapod. 
To Hatch a Pod is a conversation about Tehachapi designed for the people who live here or who would like to know more about this mountaintop community. If you have a question you would like answered, email media at tehachapicityhall.com. We will try to answer it on a future episode of Tehachapod.